Before Big Brother All-Stars 2, I was always so gung-ho about returning player seasons. After Big Brother All-Stars 2, I am admittedly less obsessed with the idea. But, that doesn't mean I don't get excited at the thought of some of my favorite players coming back for another season of Big Brother. Last week we talked about the potential of an all-winner season, but this week I think we should be a little more realistic, because here's the deal. This video is about who I think CBS will be bringing back, not exactly who I want brought back. Remember, Christmas was on All-Stars 2, and last time I checked, she was not on my wish list of players I was stoked to see again. So, there are going to be many popular players that I would love to see back, but I'm pretty sure won't get the call to return, as unfortunate as that is. Also, I know that other videos about similar topics typically limit their choices to one-time players or non-winners or whatever, but I'm not going to do that. I don't want to hold anyone back because they've played before or won before, because that's never stopped Big Brother when they've done casting for their returning players, so everyone is on the table right now. Before I begin, consider subscribing to help me out and without further ado let's get started oh she's gonna be with us all week am i the father i mean i was your plus one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we made a star we made a star yes i'm a proud dad yo i'm a proud dad <laughs> While I was researching for the video, I pretty much came to the conclusion that there's little hope for anyone to return from the pre-All-Stars era. It's been almost 20 years since those seasons have aired. Even with this last All-Stars cast, they didn't really venture too far back outside of Janelle and Kaser, and I feel that for the most part, we've seen the last of most of the old-school players. Except for one person. I truly do believe that there is still hope for one old school legend to come back for one last go around, and that's Danielle Reyes. She obviously still keeps up with the show. She is one of, if not the biggest name from Big Brother's beginning, and has still expressed some interest in playing a game like Big Brother again. She did turn All Stars down because of her own commitments at the time, but that reasoning leads me to believe that she may be up for playing again sometime in the future. Maybe it's just a fever dream that I should let go of, but I'm not ready to lose hope yet, and I truly do believe that there is a chance that we see a Danielle Reyes return in the future. Just give it to her. We'll get her in due time. Lisa is learning a lot for me to keep your mouth closed and your eyes open. I do also think that there's a chance we see Janelle again, because, I mean, she's Janelle. But at the same time, I feel like it'll be a long time before we see her again. So I won't talk about her too much. From Big Brother 8, I would love to say Eric Stein or Jessica Hubanks, but it's been so long that I really don't think there's much of a chance. I'd also love to see Zach or Jen return, because that would just be super funny. But I also don't think either of them are getting a call anytime soon. Are you not to trust oh, real people? <laughs> <laughs> From Big Brother 9, I mean, come on. Moving on, as much as I love Big Brother 10 and the cast from 10, I don't think we're going to get anyone except maybe one person, and that's Jesse. CBS just loves their Jesse appearances every season, and if there was a Legends season, I would not be surprised at all if we saw Jesse on that cast. So, you know what? I've convinced myself. I do think that Jesse will return at some point, solely due to the obvious close connection he has with the Big Brother team. I would love to see someone like Libra or Michelle or Rennie return, but I really doubt that's going to happen. Maybe if there's another duo-themed season with big enough stakes, they could get Dan in Memphis, but I highly doubt that will happen so yeah i think the best bet from season 10 is jesse i'm sorry you know how i'm feeling about this i can't sleep i can't eat i'm up because of you but it's best to keep libra in the house for your own reasons it's best to keep libra in the house for your own reasons jesse's gotten completely insane he has flipped his lid from season 11 i seriously wouldn't be surprised if there was a jeff and jordan return do I think it's likely? Uh, no-ish. I can definitely see production wanting to bring them back, and Jeff is very obviously close with production, so if it was the right type of season, I could very easily see Jeff on again, and Jordan might go on for Jeff again, but I really don't think they'd come back unless it was an all-returning themed season, and I doubt that type of season will be happening soon. If I could choose someone to come back from Big Brother 11, it would without a doubt be Russell, because he looks a lot different than when he was on the show, and I'd love to see how Russell has changed over the past 12 years. Big Brother 12 definitely has a lot of contenders for me. Hayden was an alternate for All-Stars 2, and I think Hayden is a neutral enough player that I could see him being brought back, especially since we saw a more entertaining version of him on Survivor. But that was like eight years ago, so maybe his time has passed. It was to Russell up. Feathers. It was to Ryle Drew. Ruffle. We talked about Ruffle that. Feathers. Russell, Ruffle, whatever. I don't care. Russell's the first name. Ruffle is... Uh... Russell, R-U-S-T-L-E. Rustling leaves. You can also okay. rustle feathers. 
Brittany is another one that I think could very likely return. She was just on The Amazing Race, so we can see that she hasn't fully moved on from reality TV life. And I think she would be perfect on any returning season, and I think she might say yes. So for me, I like Brittany's odds. But the one person I'm really certain will return again, if the season is big enough, is Rachel Riley. She doesn't even need Brendan at this point, although he's not unlikely to return either. But with Rachel, whether you like her or not, she is one of the faces of Big Brother. She definitely isn't the type to play scared or hidden behind a big alliance, and you can tell she still has the ferocity behind her to want to come back. The main reason she was on All-Stars 2 was, well, she was pregnant. So I think if there is a legend-esque season, that Rachel will 100% be on if she wants the spot. I'm not upset, I'm fine. Because it's your birthday and you're turning 25? <laughs> One time, when I turned 25, like last year, it was really depressing, but I got over it real quick. Rachel is obsessed with me. With Big Brother 13, I don't think anybody is coming back. And similarly, I don't think anybody outside of Ian will be returning from Big Brother 14. I know it seems like I'm only saying players that have already returned and made their mark in the show's history, but that's just because I feel that Big Brother producers aren't that likely to bring back one-time players from these earlier seasons, especially since they're going to keep getting older and older as time goes on. Trust me, I wish we could get more one-time players from back in the day. I just don't think it's likely. I think us getting Keisha and Memphis on All-Stars 2 is as far back as we're ever going to get, and keep in mind that they were both alternates. From Big Brother 15, I truly believe that the only person who has an inkling of a chance to return is Alyssa Slater, but I do feel that Big Brother will continue to have Big Brother 15 locked in time and will never have anyone return. From Big Brother 16, I feel that there are a couple possibilities. I think that Amber has a less than zero chance to return as she is going through a bit of a reality TV revival and was an alternate for All Stars 2, so I can definitely see her being a sort of wild card choice for a return at some point. I do think that Nicole Franzel is done with Big Brother for now, so I don't see her on any upcoming seasons, but I don't think it's out of the question for her to return way on down the line. One person that I think is a lock to return if they want to, though, is Derek. I know many don't like him now, but I feel that he is a big enough name for CBS that he would be a huge draw for any season that he is on. So I think a Derek return is extremely likely whenever he's ready to go back into the house. On the other hand, with Cody, I think his only chance to return is if Derek is on the season and if the theme is right. So I would say a Cody return is medium to low likely. So overall, I'd say that Derek has the highest chance of a return, and then I'd put Cody, Nicole, and Amber a step below that. Be in the moment. We have to All really right. take me Amber, over. seriously, you suck. Amber, you I are sound bad, the Kessler. worst. I You're the worst bad. person I've You're ever met. You're the worst life. person I've okay, literally, guys. like, I can't even you stand guys are you. I'm talking about, like, a, if you, like, prank me or do something. In Big Brother 17, there are only three potential choices in my eyes. Devon, Johnny Mac, and Vanessa. I think Devon will take a bunch of time off, but I would not be shocked at all to see her on another season way down the road. Next, although Johnny Mac didn't even get a call to be on All-Stars 2, I do believe that there is enough fan appeal to possibly get Big Brother to give him a call if there is another returning season in the future, which I do believe he would accept. Johnny Mac is one of my favorite players of all time, so I'm definitely biased and potentially reaching, but I do believe that there is a good shot. Vanessa, on the other hand, I feel is in the opposite situation, where I bet production would love to have her back, but it all just depends on if she would play again. She doesn't need the money, so I think it would have to be the right season, and I think it would have to be a few years down the road, but I do think that given enough time and the right motivation, we could be in for a Vanessa return, so I'm putting them both in my somewhat likely and I really, really hope so category. But anyways, I just wanted to tell you that we definitely want to work with you. Yeah, sure, I'm on board. This is, you're awesome. You guys are geniuses. I wish I had thought of it. I did. For Big Brother 18, I feel that there's a couple choices. I thought Natalie Negrotti would be a good choice, but her lack of anything to do with All-Stars makes me think that production might not be too interested right now. I think Victor could definitely be a returning player, especially if Nicole were to somehow be on the cast. So for me, I have Victor pretty likely on my list of returnees. The big name from this season is obviously Paul, and I think Paul's case is very cut and dry. If they want to return, they easily get a spot on the cast, but I don't think they want to return anytime soon. Paul is doing their own thing right now with Armenia, and it's obviously a lot more important than a silly game of Big Brother. So for now, I think a Paul return is roughly 0%, but give it 10 years, and I think it's a different story. <laughs> okay, you go, you go. I want to put your family in a... <laughs> Let me do it again. 
Big Brother 19, in my eyes, has one locked returnee. I truly believe that this person is the most locked in for any type of season, and although I know a lot of people don't like this person, I am an unashamed Josh Martinez fan. Say what you will, but he brings heat to the table, and that is something that has been sorely lacking the past few seasons. I feel like we got a little bit of it with Frenchie, but he burnt out way too quickly. Josh was on the All-Stars 2 cast and was dropped due to a COVID test, so you know production still wants some meatball action, and I don't see a world where Josh says no. He's still reality TV relevant as he's currently on his fifth straight season of the challenge and I just don't think there's any way we don't see Josh play again. I think Jessica from season 19 also has a slight chance of a return and I would actually love to see it but I'm on the edge of whether or not production will reach out to her. By a vote of seven to three, Josh, you are safe. Which means Ramsey's. Moving on to Big Brother 20, there's a lot of potential, but also I feel a lot of them might just say no. I think Tyler is done with Big Brother forever. And similarly, Bailey and Swaggy C have said that they're done with reality TV. I originally thought that Brett, Haley, and Caitlin were locks for a return, but I was somewhat surprised when none of them returned for All Stars 2, so I've remained skeptical that they will return, but I'd say there's still a chance, more so for Haley than Brett or Caitlin, and I think it'll come down to whether or not they're interested in coming back. Congratulations, Scotty. You found the second folder. What wins national championships? Defense! Defense! The person I feel most confident about returning from Big Brother 20, though, is Casey. Similar to Josh, she was on All Stars 2 before a COVID test came back positive, and she's remained relevant by competing on the last three seasons of the challenge. I think Casey is just one of those players that production found very non-problematic and someone good enough to place on a returning cast, so I'd be shocked if we don't see Casey in the next few years, and I 100% believe that she will be casted alongside Josh. Moving on to Big Brother 21, I really don't see anyone coming back from Undeniable, so that eliminates over half the cast. David and Nicole already both came back, and I doubt they're going to be getting a third chance, so it really can only come down to Kat, Jessica, Cliff, Ovi, and Kemi. And while I don't think any of them are super unlikely to come back, I don't think CBS is bending over backwards to bring them on once more, except maybe Kat, so who knows. Big Brother 22 is an all-star season, so no need to go there, and that just leaves us with Big Brother 23, which, surprise, I think has a ton of potential. To start out, I think Frenchie has a non-zero chance at returning, which is just kind of funny to me. I doubt it'll happen, but if CBS is ever feeling extra rambunctious on any given day and gives him the call, there's no way he's saying no. I think players like Christian, Sarah Beth, and Xavier have medium chances of returning as well, and I would welcome any of them back. I think that Claire and Hannah both have above average chances at returning, and I think for the most part, they have a pretty solid chance of making it onto the next returning season, but that is all dependent on if these last two players are on that season. These two players, alongside Josh and maybe like a Rachel Riley, have the best chances at returning. It's not really a question of if they'll get the call, but more so a question of if they're ready to say yes. I'm obviously talking about Tiffany and Derek X. Both have the support of the audience, finishing in first and second respectively in the America's Favorite Houseguest vote. They were both both huge presences inside of the house. Derek X is one of the most likable guys the show has ever brought on. Tiffany proved herself to be one of the best strategists the show has seen in a long time, and I think without a doubt at least one, if not both, are given a guaranteed spot on the next returnee season, almost regardless of the theme. Easily two of the most likely returnees at this point. Yeah, I remember she's that like, combo. Uh, let's like, do the nerds first. Someone else said like, oh, let's do like the nerds first. Tiffany looks at me, she's like, nerd. <laughs> why you like me I'm so sorry Wait, who said I like I you and well there we go I know I touched upon a lot of players but to close it out these are the players that I think have the best chances of returning to play another season Daniel Reyes Jesse Goddard Brittany Haynes Rachel Riley Derek Lavasser potentially with the add-on of Cody Amber Borzotra Davon Rogers, Johnny Mack, Vanessa Russo, Victor Arroyo, maybe, Josh Martinez, Casey Clark, Haley Brochure, Brett Robinson, Caitlin Herman, Claire Rufus, Hannah Chata, Derek X, and Tiffany Mitchell. Those are just my thoughts, though, because who knows with production? For all we know, they could be getting us ready for a Nick Macaron return, which, quite frankly, I wouldn't be against because I would just find that so funny. I've guessed wrong every time. <laughs> But anyways, thanks for listening to my thoughts for the last 15 minutes or so of your life. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. And as always, here's a clip for you on your way out. You know, I think what happened this season is that the Girls Alliance tried, and when it didn't work out... They didn't really try. Right. Well, that's true. They didn't really okay, try. Okay, go yeah. on. <laughs> Sorry, they did They kind of tried. <laughs> but when it didn't work out, I think that the girls got kind of intimidated. Well, I am not afraid of you. Get a liar's off.